Hi, One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're going to show you how to set up the Wise Cam Pan V3 or version 3. This was just launched in 2023, and it's got color day and night vision. It works both indoors and outdoors, and what makes it special is that it has pan, tilt, and zoom. It will rotate 360 degrees around its base, and you can tilt this up or down as well as zoom in. So the first thing that we need to do to get this WiseCam Pan V3 set up is insert a micro SD card. And it's important to do this, and that's because I've had trouble setting this up without the micro SD card for whatever reason. Sometimes the camera won't add to the account unless you have one of these in there. So what you wanna do is put your SD card into the bottom slot right here on the WiseCam Pan V3. It's also important to note that it does not come with a micro SD card, so you're going to need to purchase one. We've got a link to one below that you can get on Amazon at a relatively low price point. But in my experience, I wasn't able to get it set up without that SD card. So now that we've got the SD card inserted, we're ready to power up the device. So it comes with this charging cable and adapter. We're going to plug this in and then we're going to plug it into the back of the WiseCam Pan V3. Now we're ready to plug this in. It plugs in on the bottom here. You can see there's that little port. You're going to slide this in and you may need to wiggle it around to get it in. And then you want to make sure you put your cord right through there because it needs to go in that little holding spot to make sure that the cord lays flat so that this can rotate the full 360 degrees. Once you plug it in, give it a minute or two and then it will actually turn on. And do that little rotation sequence there as well as you'll see that the red light is blinking, which means that this is ready to set up. So now we're gonna move over to our cell phone to get this set up. If you haven't done so already, download the WISE app. You're going to need to then create a username and password and log in. We open up the WISE app and this is the home screen. From here, we're going to click on the upper left-hand corner on the plus symbol. Then we're going to add a device. Now we need to select what device we're adding. We're adding a Wise Cam Pan V3, so click on cameras, and then we need to find the Wise Cam Pan V3, which is right here, and we're going to select that. Now it says plug your Wise Cam V3 into a power outlet. We have already done that, so let's click next. Here we need to enter our Wi Fi network and enter our password for that Wi Fi network. Click next. It says press setup under your WiseCam Pan V3, which is right here. So we're gonna press that button until we hear it say ready to connect. Ready to connect. We heard it say ready to connect and it gave us a little beep. So we're going to click next. Now we need to scan this QR code that pops up on our phone using the WiseCam Pan by tilting it and just putting it in front of the QR code. So let's do that now. QR code scanned, please wait. We heard that the QR code was scanned, so we click I heard and click next. Now it's connecting. I found why it's campaign V3. Setup completed. Now our WiseCam Pan V3 has been set up. You can see it did that little rotation once we connected it to the network. Now we just need to make a selection for what we're going to call this. So we're going to call it Office Cam and click Next. Here it gives us the option for Cam Plus, which is a subscription recording service. We're going to click No Thanks for now. Share access with family and friends. We're going to click Maybe Later. It says continue to mounting guide. We're going to click skip. And now it pops up with the live stream view of our wise cam. You can see my hand right in front of the camera there. And what's really cool about this is you can see it rotate as I press this button here and it will go a full 360 degrees. And I can tilt this up and look at the ceiling if I wanted to 
and rotate it whatever way I want. So it's really cool that you can do that with the WiseCam Pan V3. You can see a skylight there. You can see uh, some of our lights. Let's tilt this all the way up and we can watch it do a little circle there. So pretty cool that it does that uh, also. And you can see it go full 360 there. And then we could go back the other direction. But let's put this down. So you can see that with these arrows, you can rotate the device up or down or left and right. You can also zoom in. So if I wanted to zoom in on something, I could. And it does have 1080 HD resolution for both day and night vision. Here we've got different options for the camera as well. You can click on your SD card. You can take a photo if you want. So I'm going to click allow access to all photos. And then you could also record if you wanted to. So you can click record and then it's going to save that footage to the device. I'm going to stop that for right now. You've also got a privacy mode. So if you wanted to turn this off, you can do so. It will rotate it down and then it's not going to be recording anything as well as what's really nice about this is that it's pointed down. So even if it were on and recording something, it's only going to be recording the top of this little device here. So I'm going to click to that because we don't want it in privacy mode anymore, but that's pretty neat that it does that. Now I can click right here and uh, what this will do is give me a uh, horizontal view of this and then you could zoom in further if you wanted. Um, just gives you a bigger picture screen there. So let's click out of this. We're going to click back here if we wanted to, but you can also see the features of uh, the microphone right here as well as the speaker. We've got those off because otherwise we would get some feedback with the camera on uh, in the microphone and the camera. So let's click out of that. Then if you want to click on other settings for this device, you could do so by going up here to the settings wheel and you can review recent events if you click right here. We don't have any yet because we just turned the camera on. But once you click in settings, you're going to be able to change those detection settings around. You can change the name of this. So let's click on detection. I could click motion sensitivity, high or low, motion tagging, detection zone. If you click here, you can have different areas that you have included in that motion zone, and then you can change this. So if I want to have more motion zones, I can do so. And then I could click save if I wanted to and click out of that. Here you've got sound detection sensitivity from low to high. So we're going to click out of that. You've got event recording, so you can record motion events. Let's turn that on. You can record sound events, and then you can click all motion events, or you can click smart detection events. But this requires uh, that cam plus, so we're not going to turn on the smart detection events. But if you have that service that you do have to pay a subscription for, you can do that. The notifications right here, you can have all your notifications on. We've got those on, so let's leave those on. You've got an alarm setting here, smoke alarm sound and CO alarm sound. So I do want to be alerted and get a notification, a push notification if my uh, smoke or CO alarm goes off. So it's good to have those settings on right there. Then we've got advanced settings. So let's click on that. Here you've got the option to turn on recording to your micro SD card. You can manage your SD card. You've got motor controls right here. So you can have how quickly that rotation happens and you can change that. Uh, you've also got a position reset so you can change where that reset is, where it will go back to. So let's click out of that. You've got night vision mode, auto on or off. We're gonna leave it on auto. Night vision conditions dark. We want our IR illuminators on. We've got a camera status light. We could turn that off if we wanted to. We can rotate the image if we had this mounted upside down uh, because it does come with screws. So you can mount this upside down or on a wall if you wanted to. You can show a timestamp, uh, your WISE logo. We're gonna turn that off, but we do want a uh, recording for the sound. So we'll click out of that. And then you've got a couple different options down here for rules, sharing, and device info, as well as support. So that is pretty much all the features of the WiseCam V3. Thank you for watching this video on how to set up your WiseCam Pan V3. Uh, I like this camera so far, it comes in at a good price point, a lot of features packed in there. The resolution uh, has been really good in my testing so far. It is 1080 HD and I haven't tested it outside, but it's worked fine inside.
So thank you for watching this video on how to set up your WiseCam Pan V3. Please give us that thumbs up, subscribe, and click any links below if you want to support us. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.